Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on East Coast Manga. So, now today I want to talk about an interesting topic. I've already made a video talking about the Beastars manga and whether or not I think you should read it. My opinion was yes, I do think you should read it. Now, like I said in that video, I had not watched the anime yet and I didn't want to compare it just yet. I want to do just the manga alone. And then after the anime, which I'm at now, I wanted to come back and make a new video for you guys and just talk about whether I think, you know, the manga is still worth reading versus the anime or whether you should even watch the anime. And I definitely have an interesting take on it. But right before I get into that, I do just want to warn you guys that there are going to be spoilers in this video. So, you know, if you're not interested in spoilers, I would click off this video now. Although I'm not going to make this video too long, so I'm not going to get like too into the story, but I am going to bring up some details that I liked and disliked with the anime and the manga. So now with that warning out of the way, uh, let's get right into it. So I finished the anime and I have finished up to volume 5 of the manga. This volume was sick. So this volume basically ends off, for anyone who has read it yet, with Lagoshi taking out the mob boss, saving Haru, and then Louie coming in and like just absolutely popping the mob boss. And we don't really know what happens after that. His his goonies rush in and then it kind of cuts. And then the very end of the manga is Lagoshi and Haru in the uh, hotel room and it basically cuts off there. So the anime does go, you know, probably a third or halfway through the next volume that's coming out. So I've already kind of gave my opinion on the manga and I'll slightly get into that, but I want to start with the anime. So what I liked about the anime is I thought it had very good voice acting. Now, for everyone except Lagoshi. Now, for some reason, I, I know probably a lot of you guys enjoy Lagoshi's voice acting, but for some reason, you know, I don't, I, I think the voice acting was good. I just, maybe it's because of how awkward Lagoshi is and just how non-emotional he can be at times, but it just, it, it didn't feel like it fit right to me. It, it was very strange for me, but maybe that's just me. And I'm talking about the dub version too. So everything to do with voice acting is going to be about the dub version because because it's on Netflix, I want to kind of review the dub version more than the Japanese version. And like I said, I think everyone else's voice acting was fantastic. I didn't have any issues with any other characters. I thought they all fit pretty well. Also like no translation issues or anything like that that I found um, in terms of like actual voice acting. And I do think a lot of people like Lagoshi's voice. I don't, I, I haven't really heard anyone else have an issue with it. Maybe that's just me. But the voice didn't annoy me enough to, you know, stop me from watching the anime. But really that's probably just me being too picky. Another thing I liked is the backgrounds. I felt like it was a lot easier to distinguish and really get an idea of the setting and where these animals are throughout like any kind of scene. I think the anime really just brings the setting to life which is awesome because it's such a world building manga and anime that I think it's very very important to have the background like stand out and the setting stand out. So that is something I really enjoyed about the anime. Another thing I liked was it didn't feel like it was too rushed or that it like lagged on too long. It it followed the manga pretty close. I think there's 12 episodes and from everything I saw it had like just about everything the manga had. I, I personally can't remember off the top of my head much filler that it had if it had any filler. It's not really a filler anime slash manga which is nice so you're not really gonna have to like dread that if you're planning on watching it. Now to get into a couple things that I really just don't like about the anime and I really dislike. Number one, of course, now I don't know how everyone else feels. I haven't really watched any videos or talked to a ton of people about it, but the animation drives me nuts. It's not good, at least in my opinion. Now, of course, remember this is an opinionated video, so this is all my opinion. This isn't facts. I don't know how you guys feel about this. You can leave it down in the comments, but I really hate the animations. I think the actual artwork and the characters and everything, I think everything's drawn really well. I have no issues with that. And I think this might be on Netflix. I think this is Netflix's maybe issue. Now, for the most part, the animations, they're definitely a different animation style. And it's not that it being different is what I dislike. It's just there's certain scenes where everything feels like it's so like glitchy and slow. Like it, it just feels... What would the word be? I guess you could say choppy. But yeah, honestly, it feels just very choppy and just not not smooth. And once again, I don't know if that's a Netflix issue. I don't know if that's how, you know, they, they do their animations. And for the most part, I didn't really notice it. But there were certain scenes where I'm like, oh my god, this is brutal to watch right now. And once again, I don't mind the art style. The art style doesn't bother me. I actually kind of like it for this series. But it's just the movements and the animation in certain points just drove me nuts. And then next, I feel like the... I feel like the anime wasn't, it didn't feel as dark as the manga. Now, 
there was certain points where yes like it's obviously going to feel darker than average because there's certain scenes where you know they go to the meat market or you know they're with a mob boss or Lagoshi's fighting someone or Lagoshi's with a panda but I just I feel like in the manga it was drawn a lot more savage is the word I would use it it just feels a lot darker in the in the manga than it does in the anime it feels like the anime maybe even throughout like with the soundtrack and everything it feels like it was a little more fluffed uh, maybe gearing towards a little younger of an audience in the anime you know I don't, I don't know what they rate it but you know they're probably aiming a little younger than what they rate it for so they had to fluff it up a little bit and and for me I feel like you have, you especially see that when you uh, see the mob boss towards the end and what he looks like in the manga and what he looks like in the anime at least in my opinion they don't look super similar like the anime he looks just super goofy like I would I would say he looks goofy looking that's my personal opinion he looks goofy looking whereas in the manga he looks like a savage he, he looks dope in the manga whereas in the anime I'm like like what I just oh my god it I don't know, that just kind of drove me nuts. And I know it's kind of small things like that, but you know, when you have a mix of that and it seems like in the anime they focus so much on the romantic relationships, and I think that could probably drive away certain consumers like myself because I'm I'm reading and watching this more so for everything else that's going that's going on in this series. Like if you see my collection, I enjoy, you know, darker stuff. I like um, you know, world building. I like really like great plots but like romantic interests and relationships and stuff like that it's not super interesting to me in this in this manga and anime um i know for some other people it is but that's not but that's not really what i'm here for and i feel like the anime kind of focused a little more on that than the manga did and like i mentioned i think that's also due to case of like soundtrack and you know songs that come on and stuff like that which obviously you don't get songs and stuff in the in the manga although compared to different uh, adaptations i think this was really good unlike my demon slayer opinion i think the manga is actually better than the anime and i'm gonna keep collecting the manga and I'll keep watching the anime when they put up another season just because, you know, I, I enjoy the series. But I think so far at least the manga definitely does a better job of portraying the darker side to the series than the anime does. I think the anime obviously still includes it, but, but I just feel like they could have done a little better job or at least focused on, or at least just focused on it a little more. But once again, like this entire video, that's, this is all my opinions. Truly, you can choose to do whatever you want. And yeah, I mean, that's that. I, I definitely recommend checking out the manga though, if you haven't. I know volume six is coming up pretty soon, but I also know they have a bunch of volumes online that you can read if you want to catch up to where the series is at now. Uh, Japan's already got like a ton of volumes out. And yeah, that's been it for this video, so I'll catch you guys later.